and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Katie if you are new here, but if you're already subscribed to my channel, you are a real one. Thank you for sticking along the journey here and I'm back on the YouTube. It's been a hot minute. So I'm going to do a little unboxing haul for you today of some random things that I got off Shein. Shein, I don't know how you freaking say it, but I'm going on vacation soon and there was just like some random things I wanted and other rather than just like getting it all off Amazon when I know I could just get it off Shein then I'm just gonna get it off there because it's like half the price and it's stuff I'll keep forever so that's how I can kind of justify it I hardly ever shop on there but when I do it's like random bulk stuff like this that I know I'm gonna have for a while like either like accessories or things like that I try to stay away from like trending clothes and stuff like that just because it's like fast fashion and you know that's just not good for the environment but sometimes I like random little things like this so I honestly don't even remember what's all in this box here but I know there's some random stuff in here so I just thought you know what we'll just unbox it all together maybe it'll inspire you to um I don't know maybe get some cute things like this for yourself so let's get into it also yes I'm still in my pajamas because I feel cute in them even though like my hair and makeup is done and I'm like just chilling in the pajamas like I'm not gonna be leaving my house today so what's the point and I just love a good matching pair of pajamas I think I got these from like TJ Maxx or something but yeah anyway let's get into it <laughs> okay first things first I got some press on nails I'm a press on nail girly I have officially converted I was getting my nails done like every like two and a half weeks and it was just like becoming expensive and to be honest I just hate sitting at the nail salon and I don't know, just is such like a chunk of time that I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to do press on nails myself. And I feel like I've like mastered the way to like get them to stay on for a long time. So I have just been doing press on nails and I have nubs right now. So gross. And also I feel so freaking pale. It's just not myself. But I got this cool chrome pair because chrome and like metallic silver is like all the rave right now. I've been seeing so much silver everywhere. So I don't know. These might be kind of cheap, but either way, I'm going to try them out and let you know how they how they go. And this is more of like a sparkly sheen to it. I honestly wanted something more like, uh, like the Hailey Bieber chrome nails, but this is giving more like sparkle New Year's Eve vibes. But either way, I think they're cute. We'll make it work. Next, I got some neutral headbands because I have been seeing like... A lot of cute hairstyles where girls are just throwing in like a simple headband with their hair curled I'm like why do I not think to do that so I got these cute little neutral brown beige black ones and I mean these feel super comfy like they're kind of like foamy like memory foam almost so I feel like they're not gonna hurt my head that bad we'll see I don't know but this color is super cute I mean they're all really cute so excited to try these out and even for like applying my makeup I feel like these will come in handy okay what is this something fuzzy oh earmuffs I'm pretty sure yep definitely some earmuffs oh my god these are freaking cute I've always wanted earmuffs that like went over your head like this and I feel like these ones will be super cute oh my god they're kind of big I mean not like here big like over here big like okay i love these i it's like february and winter's almost over so like why did i get these i don't know but they were so cute when i saw them i had to have them and i love this color it's gonna go with so many cute outfits that i probably won't even get to wear this year but i don't know i've been wanting earmuffs so i'm glad i got these uh oh this is a little belt because i don't have a black belt that I like absolutely love and yeah I know it's probably gonna be definitely more on the cheaper side but it was just a simple black belt with gold detailing I just wanted something really simple like this and I can have this for a long time because I don't really wear belts that often but sometimes I just feel like I need a black belt to complete my outfit like with my jeans and like a white t-shirt or crop top of some kind I just feel like sometimes you just need a belt to make the outfit so I feel like this is gonna be a good one I mean it's definitely feels like on a little bit of the cheaper side but for me I feel like I could have this in my wardrobe for a long time for how little I wear belts but like I needed a belt next these are gonna be some sunglasses they've gotta be 
I do remember I ordered like quite a few sunglasses, I'm pretty sure. Wow, these look hot fire. This shape I've been seeing a lot on Instagram, like with different girls like styling sunglasses with their outfits, where it like goes over your eye, kind of like a bug eye. I don't know, but these are kind of sick. Like, how cool would this be with like some like cute summery outfit and then these sunglasses to just bring it over the top? And I like that the frame itself is like a beige color, so it's not really like protecting my eyes is more just like for the look because to be honest i'm not like a sunglass girly like i like to get exposure to the sun to my eyes directly so i just buy sunglasses for the look not like actual protection from the sun because like i said i like to get sun exposure to my eyes like i mean not directly looking at the sun but you know what i mean you know what i mean so yeah thought these were kind of sick and cool and i mean to be honest the quality of these feels really nice like these feel durable I guess we'll just stick with the sunglasses for now because it looks like they're all together. This case doesn't feel as protective as the other one, but you know, we'll roll with it. So these are the iconic dad sunglasses because mine broke and I got mine from Walmart, I believe, like a year ago and they broke. So I was like, I need a new pair because I wear these with my outfits all the time. And these were a little bit different. Like they wrapped around the side a little bit more, which I thought was kind of edgier and Fun. so I already know I'm gonna be wearing the hell out of these I just love this style of sunglass and they're just like so practical if you need a good dad pair of sunglasses like sport mode style I feel like these are perfect I mean these don't feel as good as quality as the ones I just showed you but I think I can get them to last for quite a while Next, we got a pair of leg warmers. I've been wearing the hell out of leg warmers. These are just a classic gray pair. Kind of a little beigey, but obviously more um, on the gray side. I just, honestly, you could even wear these as like an arm sleeve with a crop top. Wait, that's a cute idea too. With a short little crop top. If you had like a matching gray one, that would be cute. But these are honestly just leg warmers. I like to wear them with my platform Ugg style boots, so gonna be wearing these a ton and the quality feels really nice it doesn't feel like super cheap or anything like that oh these are what i'm super excited about because i am a claw clip ho like i wear claw clips like almost every day i just love them i have a serious problem with buying claw clips so i saw this one it's kind of the same style as the longer one I have in right now. I don't even know if you can tell from me just showing you. It's that same style, but it's fuzzy. Oh my gosh. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I'm going to be wearing this a ton. I love this. This makes me so happy. She is cute. Jumping back to uh, sunglasses here. Oh, I was excited about these ones. I don't know. Something about them I just thought was really cute. Ooh, yes i love that they're like bigger and oversized because usually my sunglasses are a little bit smaller like this versus like wider i mean taller in height here but i like these again we got the orange yellow frame so it's just kind of for looks not really protection which like i said i'm not going for so i don't know i thought these were kind of fun and different let me know what you think i definitely can see myself wearing these a lot and I wanted to get some more fun sunglasses because like I said I'm going on vacation here soon uh, to Florida so I just want to wear like cute sunglasses with my little outfits they make me feel a little bit more put together and also like hide my face when I'm not wearing makeup to be honest <laughs> I also got these like iconic 90s headbands I've also been seeing these make a comeback recently as well. I mean, these are pretty uncomfortable on your head, but for when I'm taking photos and like creating content and stuff and I just want like different hairstyles, I feel like these headbands will be perfect. I can't really show you right now just because of the hairstyle I chose to do today. It's just not gonna create the look. But if my hair was down, obviously if you just like slide this in, it creates like a fun little design in the front of your head here. So I had to get these, love these. And it came with so many different like styles. I already feel like we're nailing it out of the park with all the items so far. Um, these have definitely got to be another pair of uh, earmuffs. Yes, so it's the same style as the other ones, but these ones are in black. And I love these. The only thing is, like I said, this part 
could be a little bit tighter like I wish I could like cinch this in more but you can't it's like a fixed size because it is a little big for my head I mean I don't think I have a small head by no means but I mean these are cute like these will definitely work definitely gonna keep the ear warm while also being like cutesy at the same time with certain outfits so I had to get a black pair too because I just feel like it looks good with like the blonde hair kind of like stands out a little bit next we have another cute fuzzy claw clip kind of goes with my outfit because i'm just obsessed with leopards so i had to get a cute leopard style this one's a little bit smaller than the first one i showed you it's not like as long but it is like the perfect size still for my hair because i have thinner hair so this will work when i don't have my extensions in so definitely going to be wearing her a lot so freaking cute and we got another pair of sunglasses here okay these i've been seeing a lot on Instagram so I had to get them as well it's kind of the same concept as the dad style sunglasses but these are more like of a wrap around a little bit bigger as well so I feel like these are gonna be iconic <laughs> for certain outfits too it kind of gives like I just got out of eye surgery at the same time but I don't know I still think they're cute like I'm still about it I definitely think it could be cool with certain outfits giving a little bit of bug eye but I mean that's kind of like what's trending right now and even though like they are trending right now like I can see myself like wearing these like forever I mean they're just like a good classic pair of sunglasses you know oh my gosh how many pairs of sunglasses did I freaking order I don't even remember ordering this many pairs oh my goodness oh okay I do remember these now so again, this is like a 90s dad style, but this is more of a brown tint. And I just prefer like the brown, orangey tinted sunglasses the best. These are my favorite. I mean, these are iconic. These are kind of giving like Y2K vibes at the same time too. But I just like the brown because I always get like a lot of black accessories and sunglasses and stuff. So I had to switch it up get a different shade i actually really like these these actually might be my favorite ones yet i kind of like that they're flatter to my face as well i don't know super cute i'm into them oh i forgot about this too i just got like a simple classic beanie i just really liked the beige color because i can wear it with so many different things and i like how this feels it's like a nice knitwear it doesn't feel like really cheap or nothing like that it just has a nice good stretch to it and I've been needing a cute beanie. You can also unfold it too if you want, I think. Yeah. So you can leave it longer too, but I'll probably keep it folded. I don't know, but I can wear this with a lot of things. And I've just been needing a good classic beanie. You know, you just need some good staples sometimes. Next, we got a little bikini here because like I said, I am going on vacation here soon. So I just wanted like a good classic black one. So this is what the bottoms look like. I mean, honestly, these look kind of huge for a small are these a small yeah these are small i mean they might not look huge but like i don't know they looked bigger to me than a small i mean i like my bikini bottoms a little cheekier because of tan lines and stuff i don't want like a crazy butt line that's just not the look i'm going for but i like these simple heart rhinestone details just added a little fun flair and then also on the top as well if i can get it straight here just a classic triangle bikini top it has like the pad inserts too but you can take them out and it also has the little heart in the middle i mean these are just my favorite style of bikinis you can't go wrong with these i will literally have this till the day i die okay maybe not because i'm not going to be wearing this when i'm like 80 but i'll have this for a really long time i mean maybe i will be wearing this when i'm 80 shit you never know times change <laughs> But I just know I'm going to be having this for a long time. Like, it's a classic black bikini. The quality feels good. Like, she's going to last me a long time. So, I thought this would be a good one to bring on vacation. Oh my god, I forgot about this. I'm actually really sad that I can't try this on right now. Look at this bucket hat. I mean, this is like such a cute one. It's nice and oversized because I've been seeing these so much and I feel like this gives like total 90s vibes with like the oversizedness and the furry like detail like this is so cute and I love the like orangey brown tone and I've been seeing like oversized bucket hats a lot and I'm just a bucket hat lover in general so when I saw that they make them in oversized sizes now I had to have one so 
this is gonna be iconic with tons of different outfits I might bring this on vacation honestly because when I'm having a bad hair day like this this will save me and I'll still look cute I'm honestly upset oh I think this is the other color I got it in was beige let's open her really quick I'm so sad I can't try these on right now because of my hair but this is in the beige so you got your orangey brown or your classic beige I mean I feel like I'll probably wear this one the most to be honest I kind of wish these were even more oversized I honestly felt like these were gonna be a little bit bigger I mean they're still pretty big but like I kind of wish it was more I don't know very cute though still next we have another little bikini so I got this metallic shiny silver moment we got going on here again it's in that classic triangle um, top I got it in a size small but it looks like it runs a little bit bigger I prefer my tops I like the cups in it a little bit smaller because I don't like to have like crazy tan lines. Same with the bottoms. The bottoms actually look pretty good. It looks like it's going to be a little bit more high-waisted. The only bad thing about this that I like don't prefer is the inside of it is white. Like because sometimes that like shows through when you're wearing it and makes it look a little bit more on like the cheaper side. But overall, I think this is a really cute bikini. Um, it kind of creates just a different vibe going on here. I would try these on for you, but I honestly don't want to alarm myself with how pale I'm feeling. So we're going to spare you the look of that. I just can't even right now. I haven't put on a bikini in such a long time. It's kind of sad to be honest because I wish I could live in a bikini and just be somewhere sunny and just living my tan best self all the time so I feel like this would look so good with a freaking tan and then I have one more bikini and I got this in a size extra small because I like my bra cups to be a little bit smaller it's in a cute like floral print kind of gave off denim vibes when I saw it so I really liked that and then you have the cutesy little bottoms here these just look like they're gonna fit perfect because it's nice and stretchy i just love this style so cute perfect for little tan lines cannot wait to wear this when i'm on vacation i just love like the cutesy little floral ditzy feel of this one what do we have here oh i think this is a, a bag I'm pretty sure. So we have this little bag moment, super simple and classic. Sometimes I just want something that kind of is like, looks more like a tote and can go with like whatever I'm wearing. Like if I'm wearing something more like casual, something like this I feel like works perfect. It's that corduroy kind of feel. I just love the simpleness to it. And it's got a nice zipper as well. And I mean, she is roomy inside, but I definitely wanted to get something like this for a vacation just so I can throw like all my stuff in there. Kind of has like, again, like the tote feel and I can just throw all my stuff in here and just zip it up and nothing's going to fall out. So I just thought this color even, you know, was perfect because you can wear it with literally anything. And I also got another little kind of tote bag. Of course, it's in the leopard style. I mean, I just, I can't resist. I can't resist. Are you surprised? I had to get this and I love like the fuzzy feel to it um, definitely feels a little bit you know on the cheaper side it is lined on the inside too so if you spill anything you can like easily wipe it off and it's not gonna like seep through the bag or anything so that's nice um, doesn't have a zipper just has a little button snap which I'm fine with for this kind of style but I really like this little bag as, as well like I can throw like different little things on here when I'm out like shopping around like this is still a little bit more like cutesy than like a classic tote bag like the one before where it was just like simple and like basic this just adds more like a fun flair to like a tote style bag and I just kind of like this style sometimes when I'm like out walking around running errands or whatever this just like works out perfect and in my opinion leopard just it goes with anything I don't know I love it and then I did get one clothing item because I know I'm going to have it forever. I've been wanting one and I've honestly just been using like hoodies and stuff to like mimic the bolero like cardigan look and this one feels like really nice quality. And I've been wanting one of these to just throw over crop tops, tank tops, little workout sets and stuff just kind of makes it more wearable and obviously warmer if it's a little colder out and I just like the cream color and the knit on it just looked really cute and cozy. And lastly, I just got some random jewelry. So first we got this little ring. 
and I liked it because it has 777 on it and it's also adjustable um, don't look at my fingers right now because I don't have any nails on and I feel naked <laughs> But I just love the angel number 777. I also have a 777 necklace. I was born in July, so you know, the month seven. And then I was born on the 13th, so 713 are kind of like my numbers. And I don't know, I just thought it was cute and simple and obviously I can wear it with literally anything. And I just love gold jewelry. Don't know how long she's gonna last, but I had to have it. I love the cutesy little angel numbers. And then I also got these random little gold rings here because I'm just a sucker for gold jewelry. And especially when I'm taking photos, I like to add rings on and stuff. So this is like a chunkier gold one. Just different like variations of sizes in here that I just need to like add volume because I like to wear like a ton of rings at once. So I have like my really good rings and then like I can add more rings in like this that just kind of add some more, I guess, layers to uh, the ring situation on the fingers. I mean, this isn't exactly how I would wear them. I'm just like putting them all on to show you. But I mean, these work great. It's like a nice gold color. It doesn't feel like super cheap or anything for, I don't even know if I paid $5 for this ring set we got going on here, but does the job. And I can probably get quite a bit of wear out of them because I don't really like wear rings every day and like out and about and stuff just because like when you wash your hands and stuff it really can tarnish your rings fast. So honestly it's only when I'm like taking photos and stuff and I want to like accessorize a little bit more I'll throw on some rings like this. So I feel like these are going to be perfect. Next I got some necklaces and some earrings. So let's do some of the necklaces. I loved this choker style. It's gold and then it has the heart with a lot of the rhinestones on it. So let me try her on really quick. I mean, are you kidding? How cute is that? It doesn't even look cheap at all. Like I will be wearing this a ton. I love choker styles, especially when they're chunkier like this. I mean, she's cute. I love this. Such a good buy. Such a good buy. And we also have this choker style, which I've been seeing a ton, like the chunkier heart jewelry, and I love it myself. So this is what she looks like. It's just a simple black band and the chunky gold heart. So let me try her on. I love how simple this one looks with the black band. I think it's really cute. It kind of has like a 90s feel to it. I don't know, I love it though. And then I also got this longer cross necklace in the gold detail. It's got a little bit of the rhinestones on the cross because I love wearing cross necklaces and I like kind of wearing like different like layers to them. So I have this one that I always wear, but I just thought this one would be cute like hanging longer for like a double kind of cross moment. You kind of see the vision. I don't know, I thought that would be super cute. And it's just like on a really simple chain, nothing special to it, but I just was kind of looking for something just like this. And lastly for necklaces, I believe this is another cross style. Again, more of like a choker kind of vibe. How is this one? Oh, cross was over here. I see what is going on here. You can make this like a little um, bracelet too if you want. So it's not just a necklace, but I got it for a necklace. I didn't even know you could like kind of make it into a bracelet. It has two of the lobster claws over here that you can attach to one another. So that's kind of a cool idea as well. But let's try it on because I'm gonna wear it as a necklace. And this is what she looks like. I love that it's, again, more of that choker style. I mean, ignore it with my gold jewelry. I would wear it without the gold jewelry because it's more, more of like metallic silver vibes. And I saw Kim Kardashian wearing something similar to this and I just loved it. And I found something similar to it off Shein. So I had to get it. I'm going to be wearing this so much. And sometimes I just need silver instead of gold. So this one will be perfect. Again, I kind of like, like the grunge feel that this one has. And lastly, I got two cross style earrings. I thought this style would be so cute to wear with the necklace that I have on here to create like all the crosses. I don't know, I kind of like that look together. And then I got these little gold crosses to go with the gold cross necklace as well. I love these. I thought they were so pretty, super lightweight as well. Like I just, my earrings have to be lightweight if it's too heavy. Like I get annoyed with it and my ears start to hurt. So I love how lightweight these ones feel. I mean, look how stunning these ones are for how inexpensive they were. What a vibe, I cannot wait to wear these. The silver rhinestone ones feel really nice and lightweight too. So, I mean, how cute is that gonna be together? I love it. 
so happy I got these. So those were all of the random things I got from Shein recently. And like I said, I don't shop there hardly ever, but when I do, it's random little things like this that I know I'm not gonna be just like wearing once and getting rid of. Like I'm gonna be wearing all this stuff for such a long time. And I try to stay away from like the fast, fast fashion stuff just because you know, it's obviously not good for the environment. I'm not trying to buy like all the trendy things. I wanna buy things that I'm really gonna be wearing for a long time and stuff that like I genuinely love. So I hope you enjoyed this little haul of all these items that I recently got. But before we do go, I was sent some shoes recently from a brand that sells shoes on Shein. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but I'll put it on the screen here and I do have a discount code with them. So I wanted to show you the shoes anyway because I think they are so hot fire. I posted them on my Instagram. So I don't know if you saw that or not, but I want to show you them in this video as well because they're so cute and the quality is so good. So we'll start with my favorite pair, which is these. They're like more of that Western style and I kind of like how it looks like a pant leg kind of look. I don't know what to really call that, but I mean, these are so cool. I love like anything like Western cowboy boot style like this and like the embroidery on it is really cool. It's like a brown beige color. I mean, the design so cool like and i love the white and like the thicker block heel i just can see myself wearing this with so many dresses and just a lot of different things i really really think these are so cool and the quality feels really really nice and they run true to size so i'm a us7 and these fit perfectly and lastly i got this classic pointed toe croc embellished kind of chunky boot i guess that's a mouthful but I mean, I thought these were really cool too. I kind of like the, uh, I don't know, just the overall detailing on these were really nice. They look like such high quality and they feel really nice too. I mean, these are stunning and the pointed toe kind of gives it more of like that dressier feel and obviously you can wear these a lot with so many different things because the heel is like hardly anything and again, kind of gives that Western feel and I don't have black cowboy boots, so this kind of is the vibe of that and i like that they're like the perfect height that cuts off like right before my knee like right at it so it looks really nice on my leg as well and it has a nice easy zipper access on the inside i just thought these were so cute so yeah that was everything i had to show you today stay on the lookout for some more videos coming at you soon like i said i'm going to be going on vacation soon so you know i always vlog that and if you're an og subscriber you already know where we're going to be going <laughs> it's coming up here in like a little over a week now so got some things to do before we leave for vacation so I'm really excited for that and to be vlogging that and everything and you know I'm just happy to be coming back here on YouTube it's been like how many months now I don't even know but YouTube is literally my favorite platform ever it just is a way for you to like better kind of see who I am I mean of course it's not the same as like if you knew me in person or um, you know, we were like hanging out in real life, but the camera will have to do and I don't know, it just gives you a little better of an insight of who I am behind the photos because I'm more than just a freaking photo you see on Instagram or TikTok or a little snippet of whatever. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy the content on my channel and what's coming. So yeah, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video.